If you have to walk down the streets of Lagos in a pool of water, or if you have to be bothered about your daily business activity being truncated, because of an overflowing of water onto land that is normally dry, what then will be the fate of either the city of Lagos or Lagosians? Also, let us imagine a state where there are no drains or drains that are poorly managed. This will cause an unhealthy environment for the people and damage to roads. To prevent these problems, regular drainage maintenance, construction and reconstruction of drainage is vital. These and more have been the responsibility of the Office of the Drainage Services under the Lagos State Ministry of the Environment. Lagos being a densely populated and low-lying coastal state is particularly very vulnerable, especially to flooding. This calls for a wholesome scale of attitude towards our environment, beginning with basic hygiene, like I've said, in our homes, proper domestic waste management, and ultimately, an environmentally friendly practice. The quality of environment directly impacts on the quality of the life we live. Year in, year out, it works towards a cleaner, healthier, and sustainable environment that will be conducive to tourism, economic growth, and well-being of its citizenry. It ensures drainages are being constructed and maintained across the state to keep Lagos flood-free, especially during the rainy season. However, it is one thing to construct drainages across the state. It is a different thing to clear and keep the drainages clean. For this reason, the Emergency Flood Abatement Gang, EFAG, was created to ensure a flood-free Lagos continues. A Lagos where accessing businesses, health facilities, educational institutions, and recreational centers is not inhibited by the floods. If you know the Emergency Flood Abatement Gang, it was created in 2004, and basically, I remember Engineer, San Lito, Engineer Santos, who was the permanent secretary at that time, who originated the idea. Um, he said that we needed a gang that would be opening the manholes on the roads. You know, when you are driving, you see a lot of manholes on the roads and so on. So most of these manholes and also the side uh, outlets for, for water to pass on the pavements, those are the water, they are usually blocked by sand and also so, and it allows the water to be retained each time it rains. So, what he suggested at the time that we need, we, we, that we said we must get a gang that will be mobile, that during the rainy season they will be all over, opening the manholes and regularly so that they do not. So, we started with about 15 people at that particular time. Today, there are over 1,000 people walking all over Lagos and so major highways and so on. So the essence is to ensure that you do not, and the, and the, I mean, the, the roads are not flooded. Once the roads are not flooded, uh, I mean, traffic will move and so on. The incidence of flooding will be reduced. Recall that the Emergency Flood Abatement Gang, created years back by the then administration, had become non-operative. However, the zeal and determination to make Lagos flood-free through the clearing of drainages saw the administration of Mr. Governor Babajide Sonwolu resuscitating the gang. This move by this administration has really paid off for Lagosians. The EFAC team actually started in 2003 under Ashwajibala Metimdurubu's administration to do what they're currently doing and because of the success of, the, of their work over the years through subsequent administration, 
the government of uh, the present administration of Babaji Dilushala Sawolu actually reinvigorated and made it more robust. It was increased on maybe part 239 members to about 759 members, a gang of 759 members, so we can cover the entire state for them to be able to respond timely to anywhere there are emergencies or flood challenges that require their attention. And this has really worked and helped the state forward. The, our job basically for FAG is to clean secondary collectors. But we've had costs to intervene in tertiary drains that are in, at the purview of the local governments and LCDAs. So this administration has, is encouraging local governments to, to have a similar arrangement at the grassroots, at the local government level that will be taking care of the tertiary drains. If the state government is handling secondary collectors, the local government should not be able to you know, respond to tertiary drains in their domain. So, so there is that collaboration that we're you know, having with the local government and the LCDAs for them to equally have an EFAG-like uh, uh, team at their levels that they too can you know, deploy their officials and work and so that Lagos is, you know, the stormwater management is quite effective in the state. The Emergency Flood Abatement Gang has been responsible for clearing several secondary and primary drains as well as black spots in the state. They function as the quick response arm of the state government which helps in freeing several clogged up drains from waste and silts promptly. The rains are here again and it is expected that the result will be clogged drains which result in flooding due to the activities of Lagosians. As a proactive government, the Emergency Flood Abatement Gang is working 24-7 to ensure Lagos is free from floods. When you have heavy downpour, the flooding collected from different homes, you know, go into the, into the tertiary drains. And from tertiary drains, it goes into the secondary drains and then into the primary drains, and then into the lagoon, and then into the Atlantic Ocean. So if you don't clean up because of the number of people we have in Lagos, the more the number, the more the thousands or millions of tons of refuse you generate on a daily basis, at least in Lagos, not that, between 15 million and 17 million tons of refuse on a daily basis. So, we need to clean up the, the tertiary drain so that it can have an easy flow into the, into the secondary and the primary canals. It is therefore not surprising to see the yellow uniform with the inscription IFAG all over the state as the IFAG team has been cleaning and clearing drainages across the state. We have divided Lagos in our own way to 57 parts, which is by SCG basis. And I have these FAG people in all 57 local government SCGs. Why I have coordinators, five of them, now acting in each of the divisions, coordinating the local government falling within the divisions. So we can cover the whole uh, Lagos at a go. Now, let's take a pause and look through the activities of the Emergency Flood Abatement Gang, IFAG, of the Ministry of the Environment across the five divisions of the state. Come to this place, you will see that this place is full of water state government to come and help us to look into it. Then not only that, people that is putting dirty there, they should warn them for not putting dirty there again. I should bring this to improve this thing. Consider what she was telling. We are talking about new things. And let me talk about just now. Got a good man so from where we go to one bank, we make babble. I feel into babble. She for you to nick on the man. Jabo si no, we mean bank. I like the Monday. So we are talking. So we are talking. We are talking. We are talking. So if you talk to me about Benny, if you land down, and it was much you got a neighbor, or she is here, oh fear, own that dear dear. It was actually bad. I'm Jerry. 
was blocked at some to some extent. Normally, uh, most people around they throw things inside the gutter that is not supposed to be, that's not supposed to enter gutter, and um, it produces smells. We appreciate the work of the I think Lagos State. I don't actually know the exact company that did the work, but all we know is that. It was Lagos State, and uh, we appreciate it. Really want it. It's very. You see, that's my shop, and um, here has been very dirty. You can see that gutter, the open one there. It's a welcome development. I really like it. I want it. It shall be a dupe shewa. Eh, oni pe omi. Omi yale agbara ya shobuni because ojo ba ti ojo kekere bayi omi ti ma kun gbogbo atugo atupe ni owo olorun oba ipe igba ti ojo ti e ti fi pari ton wa ba wa se nisin yi gbogbo nkan ti lo ni irowo ro se to le da be npe ori ofe olorun ba ti ba everybody know wa nkan ti mo ni lati so fun awon eni to nbe ri ani pe ka ma try lati ma neat ara wa gbogbo de ti awon nkan ijoba de se to awon nkan to ma ndale si kan try lati ma put awon de ti won si bi ti o ti ni ma flow wonu gota mo ti gbogbo ilu na fi ma ni rorun kana yi o ti wa ko soro 50 years ko 100 years iko ti wo lati garage wa lati police station yen lo ti wo wa ko ba de ti gbe bo there is no way for aradugo lati semon o ma wa ni be aradugo fun awon gba do na ba ti to tin bo awon na tu da ti won so ti e nsin addition to the problem be nsin kan aradugo ma da do ti simo to jo ba ron bi bayi ya to nje wa po gba ta ni shop la gbe to dun yo ba wo si ju ka ni jobo o ko ni bobo tu se ko to na awon eyan tun je ko gbadun tori o ma ndale si ni emi de re ti ba ti ma ra awon eyan ton fe dale si lale ma npe lawon to ma nle won awon mi nkan o ma nduro pe won ma fe na mi o ma so npe ma ba mi ja kile mi nkan fe se ta won eniyan wo gboro to ba ti ko to ba e wa tu da mi si ni idaji won ti ma wa ro si be ale won ti ma da si be so tori na an le je won won de try bi o se npe wa ko ni gbogbo gba awon eyan wo gboro o ko ba wa wa eyan to je pe won ma ma ko so won Lati ma dale sinu kana yi bi won se nse Varo o mi e on disturb wa kota o lo so kota yi o de block go so gba dupe bo yin ba wa ko sin mi ni pe ogun to ba ndu do ti si kota ton gbe ile sarin ona bi ogun e ki won ba jo kan ba wa stop e ko ma ba fetch awon na ni But I thank God for But I believe we
this is about the first time we are having serious evacuation since the road is being completed. This is uh, uh, being done because this is the first time we are having serious evacuation of the drains. Before now, it's a shoddy thing by the local government. But now we are having serious evacuation now. Up, uh, this uh, gutter, this place was so dirty, but now where you people park it, it's, uh, the water is moving perfectly and then everything is okay. We really appreciate the Lagos State Government for the uh, good work and then uh, good environment we are. Beyond cleaning and clearing of the drainages by EFAG, obviously we cannot boast of clean drainages if the residue packed from the drainages are not cleared away. To this end, the team leaves the residue for a while to dry and cuts away the silt at night. Indeed, their job to keep Lagos flat free is non-stop. When done, the clearing and cleaning of these drains will tackle perennial flooding, address gridlock, enhance the ease of doing business and help improve the health of the people as clean drains keep mosquitoes out. Also, cleaner drains improve the aesthetics of the state and attract development to the various divisions of the state. It is worthy of note that the drainages and the environment are not only of importance to the Lagos State Government, but the men of the Emergency Flood Abatement Gang are also twice as important. The government understands the health and occupational hazards of clearing the drainages daily. For this reason, each member of the gang has full access to the Lagos State Health Insurance Scheme. Their health is the priority of the Lagos State government as this will not only motivate them but also keep them productive. Well, the FR team members are, because of the peculiarity of their work, they're prone to health hazards and what have you. So the state government actually uh, provided them with a life insurance policy towards any bodily harm that might lead to whatever, you know, uh, issues eventually. So they have a life insurance policy and accident policies that the state government, you know, put the entire over 700 team members you know, they are covered. Equally, they are registered in the state Ilera Eco program the, under La LASHMA. You know, they are, so if they have any health challenges along the line, at no cost to them, they are free to visit any hospital where they are registered for them to, you know, take care of uh, uh, the, themselves. The goal we strive towards is a Lagos where business and social activities do not have to stop because of the fear of flood or a disaster caused by flooding. Indeed, a flood-free Lagos is attainable. Lagosians, for a flood-free Lagos, it is important to clear out gutters, avoid and pull down all illegal buildings on the drainage system, avoid throwing empty cans and confectionery wrappers on the streets, and stop sweeping and dumping refuse into our drainages. Negotiations should help us. If that is what, you know, where everybody is a call, it's going to be a collective responsibility. You know, for us to even clean up the canals, you need to work to get your sandbags. Our big canals, you have to have about five to ten meters this side, five to ten meters this side. Or sometimes you see people, if this is a canal, some people, somebody will come and build it. 
Now, if you want to evacuate the canal, if you want to take away the silt in the canal, where do you dump it when you remove? And swamp boogie is supposed to enter that place. They enter the canal. I don't know whether you have seen it at work. They have to enter the canal and evacuate those things. And you have a place to keep it. That's what we call setbacks. And the trucks will come there and move it. Sometimes you see people building the canal. Sometimes you see people using their fence to block the canal. You know, these are the issues. But we are dealing with it. The law is there. We take our setbacks back, then we move on. All reserved areas are not supposed to build wetlands. You're not supposed to build here. Do you know the purpose, one of the main aim of having those lands reserved is when you have serious flooding, when you have heavy downpour, you have serious flooding, the flood will settle there. And then after, thereafter, gradually, it will start moving into the lagoon. It will start moving. They are called wetlands. You're not supposed to build there at all. But go to our wetlands now. This is structures coming up, estates coming up. It's not that we're not doing anything. Some houses will go in Lagos for us to have a flood, flooded free Lagos. Some houses will go. Many of them will, will go. For us to take back our wetlands and setbacks. That's where we are. Yes, our Lagos is a coastal city. Yes, our Lagos is a mega city. Yes, being a mega city is equal to the generation of tons of waste. However, if we work together, we can keep our Lagos clean. If we work together, we can ensure the next person does not dump refuse in the drainage. And if we work together, we can have a Lagos where dreams are made in a clean and healthy environment. Lagosians, the Lagos State Government remains committed to keeping every part of its city flood-free and environmentally friendly. Together, we can achieve this. Dear Lagosians, we must learn to keep our state clean at all times. So we must assist the government as the government is doing its best to make Lagos habitable for all.